Hi, myself Gautam Mishra. Today I am going to show you how to paint a landscape with uh, elephants. The size of the canvas is uh, 30 inches width by 20 inches height. Uh, here first I have started uh, painting uh, a sky, a sunrise in the sky and uh, for this I have used Persian blue, chrome yellow, cadmium red, then titanium white and uh, Algerian crimson also a little bit. First I have mixed Persian blue, titanium white and little bit Algerian crimson in it and uh, then I applied it in corners and uh, center uh, I assume that uh, the sun is rising from center so uh, in center it there will be yellow part and then gradually it is turning into orange and then purple and corners are blue so we have to apply these colors then I will blend these uh, colors with a soft uh, blending brush after painting sky now I am starting with uh, uh, mountains complete video of this tutorial is available on Udemy I have given link of that uh, uh, Udemy course or in description of this video uh, different types of uh, mountains over here like distant mountain and then gradually we, are, we will paint uh, closer mountains so distant mountains color will be uh, lighter and more uh, um, uh, dull in means they will not be much brighter in color so for distant mountains I have used uh, Persian blue titanium white and for uh, to show sunlight on uh, in this uh, area I have used uh, cadmium red and uh, yellow uh, and titanium white so apply these colors and uh, then again blend it with uh, soft brush i am showing lighter color for this uh, in bottom i have to show some mist on in bottom of the mountain i applied some little bit titanium white mixed with uh, persian blue and uh, then uh, with filbert brush i have spread this color and then merged it uh, with a soft uh, brush move brush up in upward direction for uh, showing mist and cloud and base because it is uh, lifting up uh, from base so that's why i have moved brush uh, from bottom to top uh, for uh, clouds and mist in the bottom of mountain then uh, when we uh, to paint uh, closer mountains use some brighter color and uh, i have used uh, uh, persian blue then titanium white and algerian crimson in this and uh, uh, for to show greenery on mountains uh, just mix a little bit yellow uh, when we have we will come to closer mountains then we will use sap green instead of uh, persian blue but currently uh, for trees i am not using sap green uh, for them i am using uh, persian blue with mixed with uh, uh, lemon yellow or chrome yellow we should show highlight uh, in direction of sunlight uh, keep attention of uh, light direction and we will, we will highlight according to the light direction for highlight uh, use more lemon uh, yellow or chrome yellow and mix it with titanium white and uh, persian blue also and uh, for uh, as we comes closer and then increase intensity of yellow for highlight and increase intensity of uh, uh, green also for uh, trees uh, so in this case you can mix a little bit uh, sap green also with uh, persian blue but uh, for closer mountain forest only i will use uh, sap green uh, for distant uh, i will use uh, mostly persian blue but uh, we can mix a little bit sap green for uh, uh, as it comes closer here first uh, i will make some base layer for this uh, river since it is a mountain river as uh, it is not very deep uh, so it is sprinkles water and uh, its color is uh, according to the color of uh, surrounding and uh, so it's mostly its color is uh, blue and uh, green now uh, for more closer mountains first i am creating base and for base i have used uh, burnt timber and to show soil colors burnt umber burnt sienna van dyke brown also and ivory black at some places 
I have also mixed uh, Persian blue in this at some places and for uh, showing mist in the base of these mountains I have mixed uh, Persian blue and titanium white in this uh, brown mixture. Now uh, I am using more bigger brush for it and it is a flat brush of size uh, 7, 8, uh, 7 or 8 uh, you can use uh, you can use according to the canvas size or uh, whatever size of uh, mountains you have to create you can change brushes accordingly so i am using linseed oil and turpentine oil for uh, diluting uh, colors uh, color wheel and all these things and mixing of uh, colors cleaning brushes and all these things i have explained in my udemy course uh, where you can get all these details how to start your first oil painting what are the color wheels brushes types of brushes cleaning of brushes then stretching canvas and then uh, step by step uh, i will show all these painting details of uh, mountains and forest and sunrise all and all these things so here now you can see that for mist again i have used uh, persian blue mixed with titanium white in this mixture and give some little bit mist, mist effect i will apply again uh, the soft brush to spread colors now uh, i have to create uh, some forest on this so for uh, here forest uh, trees will be more prominent and more bigger as it comes closer it will be more prominent and more bigger uh, for trees i am using my old filbert brush and uh, i have used a sap green little bit over here and uh, add some chrome yellow and lemon yellow in this mixture for highlight uh, for stems of uh, trees over here i have used uh, uh, titanium white mixed with uh, sap green and little bit persian blue and uh, mostly uh, it is titanium white and uh, persian blue and uh, uh, you can also use uh, persian blue titanium white and a uh, little bit uh, yellow in this mixture but it should be lighter i have used round brush for uh, painting tree stems uh, as it is very thin and that's why i have used uh, round brush for uh, round brush of size one you can also use a knife over here i have used knife also at some places for creating some um, tree uh, stems so for highlight i'm using lemon yellow and uh, and uh, again i'm using with filbert brush you can see that as uh, uh, mountains are of uh, closer view uh, their trees will, um, will be more prominent and the tree structures and other structures will be more prominent and uh, then i will create some uh, textures on the or edges of the mountains and uh, to show some water uh, effect or some uh, rain effect over there uh, where as it is uh, it is a darker section so that's why uh, there is not much sunlight coming over here so i will give some little bit uh, texture only then uh, we will move to uh, show how to uh, to show reflection in water uh, so for showing uh, reflection in water i have used uh, uh those col colors which we uh, i have used for creating forest and uh, mountain so i i have used sap green persian blue black ivory black and uh, burnt umber sienna and then uh, cadmium red also at some places lemon yellow and chrome yellow i am also using that also so uh, for creating a reflection move brush uh, in downward direction then uh, then it's uh, wipe it uh, horizontally with any soft brush or you can uh, wipe it with uh, the same brush then add some reflection of sky also in water and uh, add some blue and uh, purple pink uh, colors in for the sky and then uh, for center you can use lemon yellow mixed with uh, these co uh, color combinations so uh, this uh, in by this method we can add reflection in uh, water uh, 
on big elephant i am working first so i have roughly sketched a big elephant with a mixture of van dyke brown and uh, burnt sienna and then i have mixed a little bit titanium white also so for this i am using mongoose hair artificial flat brush you can use any uh, flat brush and uh, but my brush should be uh, fine over here as it is upper layer then uh, you can see that i am creating a rough uh, sketch for it so that you can change easily uh, this uh, structure first i will add block color and then i will add highlight and other detailings on this so uh, for complete uh, detail of this uh, tutorial you can go through with the demi udemy course where you can get one step by step structure uh, step by step uh, detailing of uh, this painting for elephant mostly i have used uh, burnt umber burnt sienna van dyke brown ivory black uh, titanium white and a little bit persian blue at some places to show highlights on it and uh, a wet effect uh, on and uh, on elephants you can use brushes according to size of the object which you want to paint like uh, for bigger objects uh, you can use uh, wider brushes and uh, but quality of the brush should be same like uh, if i am using working on upper layer then we can use uh, fine brushes uh, before if you are beginner then it's, uh, you, uh, you must first prepare your canvas properly stretch your uh, you must learn first how to start your first oil painting um, what are the mediums and brushes and uh, other things which you can get on this uh, course given in this description mm. then i am painting waves on uh, uh, river for this i have used uh, uh, white uh, titanium white uh, mixed with uh, persian blue and little bit uh, uh, lemon yellow to show light green effect so i have used uh, persian blue uh, sap green and uh, titanium white mostly it is titanium white but it is not completely white because then it won't look uh, good because on highlight section we can use uh, uh, white uh, titanium white but here waves uh, all waves are not in light so their color will not be complete white at some uh, every places and uh, only uh, where sunlight is coming directly then we can mix uh, titanium white and uh, little bit lemon yellow for uh, painting waves so waves will be painted according to the uh, uh, light source and uh, how much light is uh, there uh so accordingly we can paint uh waves similarly i can paint uh, this uh, baby uh, elephant baby elephants uh, skin are more smoother and uh, their uh, muscles are not much visible and they are more in round shape but uh, we will show highlights on it then since this baby uh, elephant is uh, getting shower in this uh, river so its skin is wet so we have we will show some shine of uh, water over here on its skin uh, for this also i have used uh, ivory black uh, then burnt um, van dyke brown uh, burnt umber burnt sienna and persian blue and titanium white so for uh, showing uh, water splashes and uh, uh, i have used uh, titanium white mixed with a uh, little bit persian blue and uh, i'm first pre creating base layer of uh, water for this then uh, for this i have used an old filbert brush was uh, a brush is spread it over and make a foam structure then i will add highlight on it and uh, will for highlight i have used a titanium white uh, mostly but mixed with a little bit persian blue uh, so according to light uh, you can add inten uh, increase intensity of white for uh, this i have used round brush of size 1 
for painting uh, tree i have used a flat brush and uh, i have used again van dyke brown uh, burnt umber um, burnt sienna and ivory black and diluted color with linseed oil and, and turpentine oil and for uh, creating leaves i have used uh, uh, cadmium red lemon yellow chrome yellow and uh, titanium white for highlights also so mix these colors and then uh, use angular brush or flat brush to make leaves or you can also use round brushes for highlights and making some prominent leaves you can also use a filbert brush over here or fan brush for making, painting leaves then we will move to uh, painting uh, grasses over here in the corner so let's enjoy this painting and uh, for more details or for a complete uh, uh, step by step guide for uh, uh, how to start your first oil painting then how to uh, stretch canvases and watercolors mediums and uh, color weaves and other tips and techniques and uh, brushes materials types of brushes and all these things you will learn in my uh, tutorial which i have added in this description and uh, you can also get a complete step by step guide for painting this uh, landscape painting so let's enjoy this painting please click on like and subscribe and add your comments also and you can also suggest uh, some topics on which you want some more videos and other things and uh, keep learning thank you for watching